I will set you up right here. Um, it's so important to understand what death is. It's not some other form of life. And when you look up the word repose, it's clear in scripture what it is. Um, it's sleep. It's the same as sleep, only oblivion in the sense when it comes to death. There's no passage of time. You sleep at night. Uh, when you're in a deep sleep, you wake up and hours have passed overnight and you wake up the next morning. So, death is simply explained easily by sleep. So, the word repose. The concordant definition in the Greek keyword concordance simply is implying sleep. Now, the scripture references 1 Corinthians 11.30. Therefore, many among you are infirm and ailing, and a considerable number are reposing. So the word repose is used in, in the scripture properly when it comes to death. Dying is different, different because we're dying to die. Eventually, we will die if we continue on. Some will be remaining and surviving to the presence of the Lord, so some will not die. Some will not see death. We're living in that era, I believe wholeheartedly because the days are getting more and more intense and wicked and we're leading up to this time when we'll be snatched out of here okay so the next scripture first corinthians 15 20 now in first corinthians 15 you get a real good clear picture of death and what it is and what the resurrection of from among the dead is in 1 Corinthians 15. So this is 1 Corinthians 15, 20. Yet now Christ has been roused from among the dead, the first fruit of those who are reposing. 1 Corinthians 15, 6. Thereupon he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the majority are remaining hitherto, yet some were put to repose. 1 Corinthians uh, 7, 39. A wife is bound by, the, by law for whatever time her husband is living. Yet if the husband should be reposing, she is free to be married to whom she will, only in the Lord. So I just took it out of Paul's scriptures, uh, Paul's letters, um, these passages. And it's not a lot of them, but it's a good little word study uh, um, on the word repose. The Greek is actually koimeo, and the English element is simply lie. Sorry, I didn't say that at the beginning. Um, okay, 1 Corinthians 15, 51. Lo, a secret to you am I telling. We all indeed shall not be put to repose, yet we all shall be changed. So some will not be put to repose. So some will not die. We are currently dying, but some will not die. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. Now, we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are reposing, lest you may sorrow according as the rest also, who have no expectation. And the last one, 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 through 15. For if we are believing that Jesus died and rose, thus also those who are put to repose, will God, through Jesus, lead forth together with him. For this we are saying to you by the word of the Lord, that we the living who are surviving to the presence of the Lord should by no means outstrip those who are put to repose.